in this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about citagliptin, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. This is especially important if you are about to start citagliptin or you're already established on it. I'm also going to answer three frequently asked questions in my clinics. What is the link of citagliptin and pancreatic cancer? Will it cause severe joint pain? And is there a risk of developing pancreatitis? These are really important questions that you should be fully informed about when making a decision about taking any medication. This video will help you to understand more about citagliptin and allow you to make a logical decision about taking it. So let's get started. So what is citagliptin? Citagliptin belongs to a group of medicines called DPP-4 inhibitors or glyptins. It's used to treat type 2 diabetes which is caused by problems with a hormone in your body called insulin. Glyptins help your body make more insulin. They also stop your body releasing too much sugar into your blood. So both of these things help your blood sugar levels to remain stable. So who may not be able to take citagliptin? So this medicine is not used to treat people who have type 1 diabetes, which is when your body does not produce insulin. It's also not suitable if you have ever had an allergic reaction to citagliptin or any other medicine, if you have problems with your pancreas, if you have gallstones or very high levels of triglycerides, which is a type of fat in your blood if you are a heavy drinker or dependent on alcohol, if you have ever had any problems with your kidneys or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding or trying to get pregnant. So what's the correct dose? Now, citagliptin comes as 25, 50 and 100 milligram tablets. The usual dose is 100 milligrams once a day. You might be prescribed a lower dose of 25 or 50 milligrams a day if you have problems with your kidneys. Now, how do you take it? Now, take citagliptin once a day. You can take it at any time, for example, in the morning or in the evening, but try and take it at the same time every day. Swallow your tablet whole with a drink of water with or without food. And now citagliptin usually starts working within a few hours. So what are the common side effects? Headaches. Now, if taking citagliptin gives you a headache, make sure you rest and drink plenty of fluids. Don't drink too much alcohol, or you could ask your pharmacist to recommend a painkiller. And do talk to your healthcare provider if your headaches last longer than a week or are severe. Upper respiratory infections, a stuffy or runny nose, a sore throat, Low blood sugar, known as hypoglycemia or hypos, which can happen when you take citagliptin with other diabetes medicines, such as insulin or glyclozide. So what are the serious side effects? If you get severe stomach pains, this may be a sign of pancreatitis. If the whites of your eyes turn yellow or your skin turns yellow, this can be a sign of liver problems kidney problems, joint pain, heart failure, bile duct or gallbladder disease, skin reactions, and you could also get a serious allergic reaction. Now, these are not all the side effects of citagliptin. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. Now, what are the cautions with other medicines? Now, some medicines and citagliptin can affect each other. Taking them at the same time as citagliptin can increase your risk of getting side effects. So tell your doctor or pharmacist if you're taking insulin or any other diabetes medicine. Your doctor may want to lower the dose of these medicines when you start citagliptin to reduce the risk of low blood sugar. Ketoconazole or itraconazole these are medicines for fungal infections. Ritonavir, a medicine used to treat HIV and AIDS. 
clarithromycin, an antibiotic for treating pneumonia and ear infections, and digoxin, a medicine for heart conditions including heart failure. One of the commonly asked questions in my clinic is what is the link with pancreatic cancer? A study published in April 2009 found a link between Genuvia, the brand name for citagliptin, and the increased risk of pancreatic cancer. In a follow-up study, researchers looked at data submitted to the FDA's Adverse Events Reporting System and found a 2.7-fold increase in pancreatic cancers reported in patients treated with Genuvia compared to other diabetic medication. Another question that I'm asked is, will it cause severe joint pain? Now, in August 2015, the FDA warned that Genuvia and other similar diabetes drugs may cause severe, debilitating joint pain. The agency received at least 28 reports of joint pain in patients treated with Genuvia from 2006 to 2013, and some patients had to be hospitalized because symptoms were so severe. Most patients recovered after stopping the drug but in some cases, symptoms persisted even after discontinuing their treatment. And lastly, the question about developing pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis is where the pancreas becomes inflamed over a short period of time. The MHRA, the UK's medicines watchdog, and the FDA, the US medicines watchdog, have both had reports of acute pancreatitis associated with the drug. The agency looked into these cases where some patients required hospitalization and some of whom ended up in the intensive care unit. So the take-home message from all of this is that if you do develop any signs or symptoms that we have discussed in this video and feel that it may be a side effect related to taking citagliptin, please contact your healthcare provider as soon as possible. Now I will provide the links to the studies below. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified about new videos. And please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you've enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. And you can also check out my other videos and playlist. Thank you for watching.